Today, we're expecting the CDC's vaccine advisors to make a decision about Pfizer's COVID-19 booster shot. So we did reach out to an expert to get some more info on safety data and protection from the Omicron variant. We've got ABC Action News reporter Larissa Scott live from Tampa with everything that we know so far. Larissa. Well, while the FDA did authorize Pfizer's booster shot for kids earlier this week, the CDC makes that final determination. And today, vaccine advisors will be taking another close look at safety and efficacy data before making the call. Immunity to the disease is really uh, very short lasting. That's why health experts say a COVID-19 booster for kids ages 5 to 11 is necessary at least five months after their primary shots. With the Omicron variant that, um, you know, protection from the boosters and from the original vaccination is, is not really very long lasting in children or anyone else for that matter. Studies out of New York showed the effectiveness of Pfizer's initial two doses for kids dropped substantially during the Omicron surge. You're getting about a 70% protection from infection, but that declines very rapidly to only about a 20% protection in the children after about four weeks or so. So it's a pretty rapid decline. While kids who get COVID-19 typically don't get severely ill, the Omicron wave has caused more sick kids and hospitalizations than doctors have ever seen before during this pandemic, which is why they're pushing for this extra boost. We're still seeing uh, against the Omicron variant uh, in the children as well as in the adults uh, a really good protection against severe disease and hospitalization. Data show the third Third vaccine dose raised Omicron fighting antibodies by 36 times in this age group. Pfizer says no new safety issues were observed in their clinical trials. And now the other question is the secondary question, of course, is is it efficacious? Um, and I think um, with something that's as safe as this is, uh, the hurdle for efficacy is going to be fairly low. The bar is going to be pretty low. So I think uh, chances are they're going to go ahead and uh, give the approval. And today's meeting starts at 11 o'clock this morning, and we will, of course, continue to keep you updated on what the CDC decides on ABCActionNews.com. I'm live in Tampa this morning, Larissa Scott, ABC Action News.